Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. I am a very good comedian. Thank you. Mm, good. No. Good, good. Coming on to absolutely no music there. Couldn't help but notice that. It's very important. Don't you think for that little walk there for the, the pumping music? It's, uh, they're not doing it here. I don't know why. I, it's in, this is the big gig. I don't know what the hell's gone wrong. I, it's important to come on to music. It puts you in the right mood. I used to come on stage years ago. It's always in, I'd always bring you a little CD in those days of the great band Thin Lizzy. Does anyone know that? Great old Irish rock band. No? Great stuff. A song called Jailbreak. Imagine I came onto this song. I'll sing. I'll give it to you. Imagine I on that little walk there. This came on. Here's the first line. The first verse. Thin Lizzy's Jailbreak. It goes, Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak somewhere in this town. <laughs> Probably at the jail, I'd say. <laughs> it's hard to give shit to a band you love, but I found a way there. Good. Good, good. Now it's an exciting time in my life. It really is, folks. Um, might be more exciting than yours. I'm not here to rub it in. <laughs> but it might be. Listen to this. This is true. For the first time in my life, I have been having skin cancers cut from my white body while simultaneously being deficient in vitamin D. <laughs> That's a tightrope, isn't it? <laughs> Which is it, God? Come on, far out. How, how, how bulldust is a human life if that human being can have too much sun and not enough sun. You know what I mean? Bloody pop a ball in that person's head, get it over with. What a time waster, you know? So annoying. You think they'd sort of even out those two things, wouldn't you? Because they're opposites, you know? And then that's the joke. Um, that's how the comedians do it. It's uh, their opposites, so it's funny. Now, you know, low vitamin D, skin cancer, you think they'd sort of be able to fight it out, I reckon, you know? I'm interested to see who'll win, actually, out of the two. Yeah. <laughs> Cancer, I'd say. <laughs> That's a strong front runner there, isn't it? Mm. Pop that on, sports bet. <laughs> all right. That's a bit awkward, wasn't it? Yeah. Why don't we all just get our gear off and go for it? <laughs> yeah, he did this whole bit about having skin cancer. It was pretty intense. It was very awkward, but the orgy really took the edge off. <laughs> we settled in after that really put things into perspective. Yeah, I was in um, India the other day. Um, that's clearly not true, is it? Um, but I was in India. Um, I was in India and I was having breakfast in India. And I was in a room having breakfast in India and I looked up and there was a TV I noticed playing local programs. And I couldn't understand them, of course, but I, I noticed they had all these news headlines, English news headlines, and I was reading them. And the only one I can remember because it stayed with me. I, this was three, four years ago I was in India. But here it is. Let me share this headline with you, folks. It said, five injured, one dead in mishap. Right? <laughs> All right? And I had to leave breakfast, never got to see what the story was. And I walked away going, what the hell could that have been? A mishap? Like, what, could, what, cause what is an example of a mishap? Anyone, what's a, tip, a typical mishap? I don't know, anything. It could be anything. You're, you're trying to get to the bar after this show. It's a few people deep. You're standing there going, oh, I forgot my mask. Are we wearing masks? I can't remember. And then a bit of poo comes out. <laughs> you know, it's an accident, isn't it? No one's dead. That's a mishap, right? And so for the, I was so baffled by what a mishap could be. I literally came back to Australia and kept thinking about it. So I, I punched it into Google, uh, the word mishap. You can try this. I've got it here on my phone. If you type the word mishap in, that's my preferred search engine. I use Google. <laughs> It's, def it's a noun, I thought so. Now, it's, def it's defined as an unlucky accident, which is what I thought, yeah? But Google have gone one better, and they've put it into a sentence, which is always helpful, isn't it? Yes, and this is a sentence I've, I tell you, I, re I reflect on this oft. Oft, I reflect on this. <laughs> this is true, folks, you can look this up. Although there were a few minor mishaps, none of the pancakes stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> How good. None of the pancakes. Five injured, one dead, but none of the pancakes stuck to the ceiling. That's a Shrove Tuesday tragedy, isn't it? And a triumph in many ways. That's a tricky day down at the parlour, that one. Full on. Insanity. So, okay, I'll tell you what I'm, that's fine. I'll tell you what I'm getting really sick of in the modern world. Someone losing it over there, that lady. <laughs> you all right? Shouldn't someone, that's the exact thing I want and yet I've got an issue with it. It's so, 
so weird. Getting really sick of dog years. Anyone else got sick of dog years? Remember that? Is it, what, what's a typical dog year again? It's one for... Seven. Seven, seven sorry. That's right, yeah, one for seven. But they've, thank you, but they've waned. Have you noticed there's less dog owners talking in dog years recently? There's less, isn't there? There's less people going, oh, he's 64, you know? <laughs> oh, she's 73, the old girl. Like, I've noticed most normal dog owners sort of these days just say, you know, he's 13, he's old. Good. Like, about time, folks, seriously. Because dog years never sat very well with me, right? Because we agreed on what a year is a long time ago, didn't we? We agree on how we measure time. What an hour is or a second is. Dogs can't just exist outside of that. I'm sorry, folks. They can't. Dogs should age the same way everything else ages, shouldn't they? The same way any a building ages or a, a fly. Flies live for about three days, roughly. We don't call that 90 fly years, do we? <laughs> Funny joke there. Now, this is a question for you, and please answer if you feel like being vocal. Are there any other animals that you know of at all, apart from, say, human animals? Let's call ourselves animals, because we are, and apart from dogs that you know of that have their own years? Anyone? Anyone want to say anything? Turtles. T turtles? Really? What's, what's that about, man? Well, they just live, like, much longer. I don't know if they have their own... Turtles, they live much longer? So they live for a long time? Yeah. That's... What? <laughs> How's that work in your head, mate? That's I get weird. That's the first time I've this joke. I've I've I've, I've, I've never heard turtles. That's the first time I've heard that. Um, that's interesting. Uh, but people say um, I've heard racehorses. I've heard uh, all kinds of cats. People mean cats having nine lives, so they're sort of useless as well. Um, but where this shitty dog years joke got interesting was about five years ago. I was doing that that joke, the one I just heard that crappy little joke there about dog years in the city of Melbourne here, and I got to that question, that part that I just asked you all, the question, are there any other animals apart from humans and apart from dogs that have their own years? And no one answered on this occasion. But up the back, I just saw a hand go up, very polite. It was a lady, silhouette of a lady. And I said, um, yeah, sorry, up the back. Um, what animal? And she goes, rabbits, right? Rabbits, and I was so into that. It was as good as turtles almost, mate. And I, I just said, really, rabbits? How does that work? Is it the same as? dog years or do they get their own years or, or what? And then she goes, oh, sorry, I, I thought you said ears. <laughs> yes! Oh, how good is that? Folks, right, that means that there's a human being that lives among us, that thinks that a comedian, right, would take the stage. I can't even, the only way I've learned to fully process what happened that evening, right, to make so I can make sense of it is to go back through the material and hear it as she heard it. I've got it here with me. Here's the there's a transcribed version of the dog dog ears joke. But imagine for the this is the good part, folks. Imagine you've all even if you did actually hear ears tonight. Let's pretend we all absolutely did hear. So the comedian he does, doesn't he? He takes the stage with his hard hitting dog ears material, <laughs> and he says, "I'll tell you what I'm getting sick of, dog ears." <laughs> The ears of dogs, fair enough. They seem to have waned in recent years. There's less people saying, oh, he's 65, she's 75. Dog ears never sat very well with me. Because we agreed on what an ear is a long time ago. What an hour is or a second is, that bit must have fucking baffled her, I reckon. That's... Dogs should age the same way as everything else. Buildings, flies, flies live for three days. We don't call that 90 fly ears, do we? Bit of whimsy there, insane. And when I finally got to that question, think about this, this is the amazing part. The question I asked you moments ago, and that audience uh, in five, five years ago um, in Melbourne, the question, are there any other animals that you know of, apart from humans and apart from dogs, that have their own ears? <laughs> just, just elbowing your partner, I know this one. Finally a comedian for me. Mm. Rabbits! Oh, just naming one. One only of the myriad of animals with ears. The very thought that, folks, that I would use this, this, a public forum, to ask for your help in helping me discover and name more eared animals. 
because I was only aware of humans and dogs <laughs> that possessed ears. That's comedy to her. And to me now, the joke's much better since she got to it. So thank, I thank her. All right, folks, I'm David Quirk. Enjoy the rest of your lives. Thank you.